Hey, the fellows. We are at the Proving Grounds again. And it's become a bit of a tradition each autumn to torture test some tires. And we figured out how we can fit this enormous wheel into this here car. Okay, let's see how much punishment can be taken by the tire and the car. Let's go. We'll be using tires of various sizes in today's experiment. For starters, I think we should try detonating a smaller tire just to refresh our memory. Let's do this. Where's the wheel? It flew away. Let's go look for it. We'd better look for it. I felt it in my ears. That was a big bang. The curious thing... The wheel is over there somewhere. Behind the car. Was this here before? What? This dent? No, it wasn't. It wasn't? Let me just mark it like so. Well, then that's that, I mean... You can see it in plating. It is visibly bigger. Nothing's gonna happen to the car, he said. Everything is going to be fine with it. Yeah, right. A quick way to remove the fender guard, I guess. Wasn't that nice? If you look at the actual rim, the steel has been ripped apart and contorted. The forces are enormous. You continue increasing the air pressure and, um... With it at 10 kilos, just imagine the volume of air that's released when it bursts. We do see some slight damage, but now I suggest we try something a bit more serious. You would have noticed that underneath the car is another wheel, but that one is a 17, and with a fat and really wide tire. My oh my. Oh, wow, why are the seats so high up? Holy cow! Check this out, the floor is at about knee height. The passenger seat is now above the dashboard, while the driver's seat has been kept from going any higher by the steering wheel. Now, given that the floor has been lifted so up high, we'd better shove it back down. And here we have the tool for the purpose. 315, 70 section, 22 and a half inch rim diameter. Let's inflate it to the point where it no longer can hold itself together and just pops. When it does so, it should beat the car back into shape. Let's go. I'm scared to imagine what'll happen. Holy cow! Isn't that something? 
The air has curved its way out of the tire, I mean... It was able to free itself. As for where it went, well, that was an epic escape, I'll tell you that. It seems to have gone up, blown the roof off. Everything has gone by the seams. Windshield this way, rear window that way. Side windows are gone, but those are still in place. I guess the frames took the brunt of it. I don't know where the roof went, though. It was flying for quite some time in that direction, while flopping around. Where we found the roof. Retrieving it. And here we have another nice big tire. We decided to bury it as well, for the purpose of directing the explosion in a certain direction. The direction being up, of course, for the air to hit the underbody of the car. What the actual fuck? Look at how it got twisted. It was already contorted when it got airborne. The tire, I think, unseated itself and survived. The floor has been torn from the frame rails. The strut and the hub are now a separate entity from the rear torsion beam. Yeah, the car is thoroughly rooted. So the car was tossed up into the air, and upon landing it was toast. I mean, we are talking about enormous forces. After all, when the air is under such high pressure and then gets instantly released, the volume increases by dozens of times, which translates into enormous energy yield. I mean, we still don't even know whether the tire has even popped. This has happened to us in the past. Yeah, exactly what I was talking about. So look here. The tire is actually very much intact. And even the wheel doesn't seem like it's deformed. Yes, yeah, so it just unseated itself. Which sort of says that the pressure wasn't quite at the max in terms of the tire's limit. Scary to think about what would happen if the tire would actually burst. How much pressure that'd take. But even at the pressure we achieved, the car did an impressive somersault. That was pretty neat. So the takeaway here is that compressed air is a very dangerous thing. So be very careful. And we are out of cars, but we still have one tire left. There you go, guys. Study up on physics and catch you later.